Hey guys, so this will be a reading for Capricorn. This will be your bonus reading for the week. Again, thank you so much for the subscriptions, the likes, the comments, the shares, all of that. I appreciate it so much. This will be a general collective reading for you guys. Um, so this may not resonate with everyone that watches, but please take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, but this could resonate for you if you have Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements in Capricorn. Or you're dealing with somebody that does have those birth chart placements. <clears throat> Please take a moment to read through the description box. You can find a lot of information about um, me, my services, um, my, where, I'm, where you can find me on social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. I'm also on TikTok too, but I don't really use TikTok that much yet. Um, but my, the link to my Facebook and to my Instagram is in the description box. Um, also information about personal readings is there as well. Oh, and the link to my merch website, guys. So I really appreciate it if you check all that out. Capricorn. Hope you guys are all having a good week so far. Capricorn. Okay. Oops. Well, <laughs> let's see here. Okay. This is how many cards fall out? Let me see if it. Okay. So I'm going to reshuffle these guys because that was a lot of cards that flew out. I really prefer for them to come out one at a time. But sometimes you get a chunk, and if Spirit guides me to take the chunk, I'll take it. But I'm going to reshuffle and I'm going to restart because I only wanted to get four cards out. I was feeling drawn to do a different um, reading structure today. So let's see here. Some of you guys have a fire sign coming towards you or you're going to have an ending with a fire sign. A cycle may be closing out with them. Um, you're, you may, this person may have backstabbed you. Yes, definitely an ending here. Endings and new beginnings. We have the death card and the full card, guys. So like I said, I see fire energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy with death. We also have, um, goodness, I always forget what the fool is. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to look this up right now because I know if I don't look it up now, I'm going to never look it up. <laughs> the fool, I'm thinking it might be Aquarius. I don't know. Let's see here. It is. It's Aquarius. Okay, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but. This could either be somebody that you had an ending with, this person kind of backstabbed you, betrayed you in some type of way, or things just ended very badly between you and this person. Um, this person could be wanting to take some type of action towards you, um, wanting to transform a situation here. Or this is somebody that you had an ending with and now they want a new beginning. What's on the back of the deck? We have the five of wands. Conflict, fighting, arguing. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and um, get some clarity about what's going on here. Or if this isn't another person you're dealing with, you guys could just be feeling very driven right now, very... Um, wanting to take action to close out a cycle that has been very difficult for you so that you can manifest a new beginning for yourself. doesn't have to be another person involved, but definitely seeing fire energy here, especially if you guys have fire um, placements in your birth chart. Like me, I'm a Capricorn and I'm a Leo moon. And I'm a Sagittarius Venus. Okay, so I have um, two fire. I mean, I, probably, I think I have more than two fire placements, but those are just two of my fire placements in my birth chart. All right, so what's this King of Wands? What's this King of Wands? You guys are waiting for this person. If you guys have been waiting for a person to take action, I see you guys, this energy of waiting. You guys are waiting to hear from this person. You're waiting for them to take action. Hold on, guys. I don't like the way this is, the angle of this. Let's make this more in frame. 
That's better. Yeah, there's this energy of you guys have been waiting on possibly a fire sign to take some type of action towards you. Waiting to hear news from this person. Um, some of you guys have been kind of like, in, you know, in limbo or kind of putting your life on hold for this person. And Spirit says that that's not what you should be doing. You should be trying to, um, even if you guys, you know, want to have something with this person in the future, you guys should be preparing for that to be able to, to be able to have a successful union. You're going to need to focus on yourself in, for the time being, Okay. Um, but I feel like you guys have been waiting for this person to take action. Spirit says divine timing is at play. I know you guys are probably sick of hearing that. Um, Spirit says you need to, you know, let go of the expectations, let go of needing to know when and how patience guys. I know you're probably really sick of hearing that, or you guys have been, um, patient. Let's see. What's this ten of swords? Playfulness. Things ended between you and this person because they weren't taking it seriously. They weren't taking the relationship with you seriously. They wanted to have something more lighthearted. I don't, I'm feeling like maybe like a non-committal energy. Also, I'm feeling like spirit says that, you know, they know that things probably ended badly or something has come to an, a, a sad, painful ending. Um, good thing is that it cannot cause you any more pain because it is over. It's done. Now you can leave it in the past. And you can start healing from it. Spirit so wants you to um, not focus so much on how badly things ended in that situation. They want you to enjoy your life, have more fun, get out more. They don't want you to go overboard with it, but they want you to start doing things that you enjoy, getting out more, um, enjoying your life. Okay. What's the death card? I feel like it was very hard for you guys to end things with this person, leave them in the past. If you guys have been going through like a period in your life where you feel like, you know, you've been, you've been being tested, lots of things going wrong, lots of conflict. You just feel like nothing is going your way. Luck isn't on your side. That's coming to an end. Things are going to be changing here. What's the fool? Brick wall. Tell me more about the fool and the brick wall. Crossroads. It's like something you're realizing that one situation in your life is not going to be able to progress. And that needs to be able to come to an end. It's probably going to be hard for you to make the decision to put that to an end. I feel like you're going to maybe be faced with some type of choice in the near future. And it's going to it's going to be one thing coming to an end and the beginning of something new also before you before you to have this new beginning you're gonna to have to come to the realization that this situ this other situation um isn't going to be able to progress i feel like spirit is blocking a situation in your life because it's better it's for your highest good that this situation be blocked Spirit says it's time for you to do something different. It's time for you to have a new start, a new beginning, a clean slate. All right. And you're going to have to make a choice about this in the future. There are other things there. Like you're going to be exploring poss the possibilities in your life is what I'm seeing here. There are other things out there for you, but you're never going to be able to experience them or obtain them unless you put this other situation to rest. But I can see that it's going to be a hard decision for you to do that. Okay. Why the thorns? business for some of you this could be a job some of you are going to have to put an end to a job like there's there's like a maybe a, a career path that you're currently on that it's just like you've lost your passion for it you're not going to be able to grow while you know doing that profession it's just spirit is saying that they're like gonna kind of they're guiding you in a different direction when it comes to career or or some type of money situation i'm also feeling like maybe it's hard for you to put an end to a situation because you have financial ties to another person okay for some of you okay so tell me more so what 
All right, so you guys have some type of sudden change coming up here. Somebody going to be taking action towards you very quickly. We have this King of Wands here. The sudden change could be somebody taking action towards you. That divine timing could be coming in sooner than you guys think. Okay, it's going to be probably, it says love striking you unexpectedly. So for some of you, this is a love situation. For some of you, um, there is a, this is a career money situation. Whatever it is, it's going to be taking you, whatever this action that's going to be taken, um, it's going to be very shocking. It's going to catch you off guard. All right, tell me more. Delays. Yeah, I feel like this is really going to catch you guys off guard because you guys have been waiting for divine timing to come in and it's probably been quite some time. So when whatever this is that's coming in for you comes in, it's going to really like be shocking to you. You guys are probably even like a little bit maybe losing faith. But I feel like you guys persevered. You, you know, even in those times where you guys were losing faith, you guys still, you know, persevered. Bridge. Yeah, it's like you guys were just like stuck in this phase of your life where you weren't like in your old life, but you hadn't completely reached your new life as well. Like you were like in a transitional phase. But I feel like the time is coming where you're going to be able to bridge the gap. Um, let's see. What else can Spirit tell me about this? Passion. Ooh. New passion in life. That's what I'm saying. I feel like maybe for some of you, a job that you've been doing, you've lost your passion for it. Spirit's nudging you to have a new beginning in work. Pursue something that you feel passionate about for career. Or there's a relationship that you guys are currently dealing with that has lost its passion or that you don't, you know, you don't feel like it's for you anymore. And you're going to have to release that situation to be able to obtain this new passionate um, connection that's coming in for you. This King of Wands is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, because I feel like you guys have been stuck in some type of karmic cycle or you guys are just stuck in a, yeah, you're stuck in a cycle. Is what I'm seeing here. You guys were in this period of your life where you guys were not learning lessons. You hadn't learned your lesson. You weren't applying what you had learned. It's like you guys had gone through a lot of experiences that were supposed to be teaching you. And you may know the lesson, but you weren't applying the lesson, if that makes sense. You guys were unable to let go of something from the past that was no longer serving you. All right. But I feel like the time is coming where you guys are going to finally be able to release that. And you're going to be, you're going to be stepping into a new passionate beginning is what I'm getting here. All right. One more card, spirit. Manifestation. Yes. Something that you have always dreamed of is going to be manifesting for you soon. It's going to be materializing, coming into your reality. It's close, spirit says. It's, it's in the near future. You're going to be getting what you want, what you desire. You guys are very powerful manifestors. Okay. Back of the deck, deep thinking. Spirit wants you to really, you know, don't feel like you need to rush into making any decisions. All right. Um, or Spirit saying that you needed to take some time to really reflect on yourself, to really do some deep thinking, to kind of gain some clarity about why certain things happened the way that they did. Um, I see you guys also being really stuck in your head. Like maybe you guys have just been like stuck in your head. Maybe that's all you guys could do because there was nothing moving. Things were kind of stagnant or there was just, it didn't seem like there was any progress being made in your situation. I feel like there was though, behind the scenes. But Spirit says that's coming to an end. It was like, you guys were maybe really trying to make a decision about whether or not you wanted to leave this past person, this person that you're currently dealing with or this past person behind. Spirit says that you guys have been overthinking it. And I feel like this situation, whether, you know, was going to come to an inevitable end anyways. Okay, the situation was toxic. Definitely could be a masculine that you guys are dealing with. All right, could be a woman, but or it just could be somebody that's more in their masculine energy. This could have been somebody that you um, started off as friends with. You could have met this person online. You guys could have maybe had a karmic contract. The situation was meant to teach you lessons, trial and error, guys. You made mistakes. You feel like you you may, you may have some regrets of some things that happened with this person. Or in that, you, you know, maybe you regret um, being in a relationship with them or certain choices that you made in regards to your connection with them. But Spirit says you were learning. You had to make mistakes to learn. Okay? Let's pay attention to your dreams too, guys. They're trying to guide you. They're try I feel like they're trying to guide you to... They're trying to tell you that you need to um, remove this person, this situation and this person from your life declutter your life so that you can make room for better things that are meant for you to come into your life 
Um, I know that it's kind of hard for you to make decisions or you feel like you're not seeing the whole picture. You don't know what things are going to turn out like if you do decide to leave this person in the past or you guys just may feel like may feel like your life is just very chaotic at this time. We did have the five of wands on the back of the deck. But I feel like you guys, there's some type of balance that's going to be restored, okay? You're going to be getting what you finally deserve. You learned the karmic lesson, all right? And now you're going to be getting, reaping the reward. It's like you're going to be reaping um, good karma is what I'm seeing here. And it looks like there's going to be somebody that you're going to be dating. Higher power. This is divinely or this is divine divinely orchestrated for you and this person to be start dating this new person. But you're gonna have to leave this old person behind for that to start, guys. Spirit says it's for your highest. Like this is actually something that will be good for you. Okay, for you to date this new person. You're gonna finally be stepping into your purpose, your true purpose. Do you're gonna be doing um you guys have probably already been doing soul work. Um, but it's like you're going to be finally stepping into your your purpose. Headed down your spiritual path. Yeah, I see a cause for celebration in the future. I see there being a happy outcome for you if you decide to walk away from this toxic past situation. The situation that's no longer serving you. You guys may also... I also see like you guys may be attending some type of social event in the future. You guys are just going to be socializing more, getting out more. Spending time with your friends. Going to the bar. Whatever it is that you like to do. You guys could have like a very, like a friend, like a very close friend. Um, I'm seeing feminine energy here that could be significant to you in the near future or in the present. But yeah, I definitely see there's love manifesting. You're going to be rebuilding your life better. You've learned the lesson. So now you know what not to do. And you're going to be rebuilding your life on a better or on a more solid foundation. And I see it's going to be probably with another person. I see um, love. I see you. There's someone that has feelings for you that wants to rebuild a connection with you. I feel like. For some of you, for some of you, this is somebody that's completely new that just wants to build a life with you or is going to want to build a life with you. I do see they're being focused on love in your near future. Spirit says, take it slow, to go, take it slow, guys. Don't rush into anything. Okay. You want to build um, this relationship on solid ground. Maybe, you know, maybe build a friendship first. Okay. So where are we at time wise? 17 minutes. All right, guys. So this is where I'm going to leave off this reading. I am going to extend this reading. I want to get you guys some spiritual advice. Um, I want to see where you guys are at in your ascension because I do see that you guys are going to be um, coming into your true purpose, headed down your spiritual path. So I want to see what that's going to look like for you. Um, I want to kind of see what the future of this connection that's coming through for you is going to look like. Since career was coming through, let's take a look at career for you guys as well in the extended. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I think we should look at. I told you guys I want to get you some advice as well for the, your love situation. Um, and yeah, whatever else I feel drawn to do in the extended reading. I think I may, may even do channeled messages at the end of the extended for all 12 signs of the Zodiac. All right. So if you're interested in that, um, the link will be in the description box. But if not, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will talk to you soon. Bye.